Where's grandmother? Well, I asked your grandmother to keep watch in case Cook comes back unexpectedly. Coward. The only reason you did that is because you know that she's the only one Cook won't kill when she finds out what we've done to this place. <laughs> Aren't you overreacting just a little? Cook seems harmless. Sure, it's harmless as grain alcohol is next to an open flame. You see, this kitchen is her temple. Woe betide the man or woman who crosses the threshold without permission. Which reminds me, did Justice ever tell you the story uh, when, when Cook almost nailed him with a can because she caught him raiding the fridge? No, he oh, never did. Ask him sometime. It's a great story. <laughs> yeah. I will, when I see him. Oh, look. Frozen mini corn dogs. Hmm. And Cajun buffalo wings. That's fascinating. Well, you're on your cooking odyssey, Edward. Do not put anything in that microwave with foil on it. I run multinational corporations. I can certainly handle this gadget. Hi. Where's your dad? Um, upstairs I'm packing. Well, I left you two alone so you could talk, did you? Not exactly. Damn, the only way you're gonna make a difference if you take a chance and open up with him. Go for it. I really did miss you. How you doing? Well, things are kind of weird. Mm -hmm. the strikers are actually kind of scary. The garbage is starting to stink. But it's actually kind of fun, too. I mean, I get to eat all the junk food I want and no one says anything. Everyone's acting really crazy, too. I'm sure things would be boring if they went back to normal. I want nothing more than that. Except possibly to see the way you used to smile at me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You are the best reason in the world for me to change the way I live. You're actually one of the reasons why I went away. I was trying to figure out how to get you to smile at me again. I have to do my homework. What you've done to the place. Here, where, where, where have you been? Uh, arrange for the police to watch the house 24 hours a day. Well, you're good for something. You want this corn dog? Uh, actually, no, I don't. I'm saving room for the spam. Guess who I ran into down at the station? Jason. So what else is new? Missing, don't you? Justice? Yeah, yeah, I do. Sometimes I think he's out of my life forever. You know, <clears throat> It wasn't that long ago, I thought I'd lost you forever, but I kept trying. I'm so glad you did. Yeah, maybe Justice will be just as happy if you would make the same effort. I don't know, AJ. He's too caught up in the thrill of this new life. Thanks to Jason, Justice is a player, and you know what? He really likes it. And now, with Jason being a hero, after rescuing Michael and Robin, you know, there's a, there's a whole new thrill. What was Tony thinking? Tony's lucky he's in a jail cell and not in a cop. If Michael were my son, I don't think I would have been able to stop myself the way Jason did. AJ, if Michael were your son, none of this would have been happening at all. Uh, Tony's trial starts Thursday. Are you gonna go? He was my best friend. Was? Well, what do you do when uh, somebody who is your close confidant does something that is so unforgivable? I mean, I thought I knew him better than anybody in the entire world, and I don't know him at all. I uh, stopped by Em's room earlier. She seemed a little subdued. I didn't want to pry, so I'm not sure what happened between you two. I'm not sure either. Look, oh, she's very complicated, you know? It's gonna take a lot of time to repair that damage. It's gonna take a lot of time for her to learn to trust me again. Well, if you're honest, you're consistent. Work like hell? Yeah, work like hell. You'll make your way.
The dark projects will go forward. But Jason is going to keep interfering with us unless we find a way to make him happy. Yeah, well, how are we going to do that? Coexistence. Now, I mm. think Jason is starting to be reasonable. If we can find a way to meet him halfway, then I think we can manipulate him. No, no, no. No, I refuse to give any concessions to that scoundrel. Let him carry on the dock strike as long as he wants. <coughs> I'll be damned if I will give him the satisfaction That's of no... This hurts us. What is wrong with this thing? Edward, no, not Boyle. Well, that one's done. <laughs>